Well, Ruff, Ruffman, show! With Blossom and Chet. Yeah! Got a pet that needs a bit of watching? Well, I bet there will be no botching of the watching of the pet if you call the best pet sitter yet. Yeah! Not no longer accepting mammals with horns that weigh more than 2,000 pounds. Oh, hi! Okay, here's the deal. Blossom comes home from vacation tomorrow, and I still have a rhino in her house. If only you were a dog, Fluff. Blossom loves dogs. Kinda. <gasps> That's it! Fluff, you're gonna have to be a dog until Blossom can see how great having a rhinoceros is. Quick, Chet, start looking for stuff to make a dog costume for a rhino. A dog costume for a rhino. What? That makes perfect sense. All right! Good job, Chet! There's bound to be materials for making a dog costume in here somewhere. Well, none of these make Fluff look like a dog. But I need a better costume. Hmm. Yeah, but Fluff has to look like a real dog. All right, we need a dog with fur we can copy and cover our rhino with. Let's see what we got here. Wow, a lot of choices. This dog is too tiny. Uh, that is a duck. Hold on. Wait, that's a dog? Huh. The Puli. A Hungarian herding dog. Interesting. Whoa. All that long, thick, messy fur could cover the whole rhino. Chet, we have found our dog. All right. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So, viewers, we've determined that a Puli's fur is long, thick and messy. In other words, its main quality is shagginess. So Chet and I are going to sort our pile into two new piles. A pile of shaggy things and a pile of not shaggy things. Ready? Here we go. The strands on the rug are long, thick, and messy. It's shaggy. Multicolored pom-poms. Long, check. Thick, check. Messy, check. Shaggy. A sandwich from last April. Oh, I was wondering where that sandwich went. <laughs> Not Shaggy. My Golden Blobby Award. Not Shaggy. Uh, this could take a while. A welcome mat, a mop, a weird sweater I got from Grandma, a rope bone that's falling apart. So, we've now identified all of our Shaggy items. But shagginess alone won't convince Blossom that Fluff is a pooly. This pooly is a gray color, so we need to sort our shaggy pile into two new piles. Shaggy things that are gray, and shaggy things that are not gray. Gray, not gray. Gray, not gray. Not gray, gray, not gray. Done! We've narrowed our choice for pooly costume material down to these three items. We've matched the color, and we have shagginess. But is the shaggy material the right length? Does it match the length of actual pooly fur? Rope bone? Nope, the strands are too long. The rug fibers? Too short? Oh, this mop is perfect! Quick, Chet, go out and buy a hundred mops so our rhino can look like a dog. What? That makes sense. Come on, get on there! Yeah. Phew! That's how to turn a rhino into a dog with a hundred mops. Just like the fur on the pooly in that picture, mop heads are gray, kinda long, and definitely shaggy. And now all we have to do is teach you a few basic canine tricks. Ready? Roll over. Oh, wait, no, no, just roll over once. Once! Ah! Ah! Yeah, we have a little more work to do. The Rough Ruffman Show! Yeah! You can also watch full episodes and play Rough Ruffman games anytime on the PBS Kids Video and Games apps.